Welcome back to another episode of the CPA Podcast. I'm Jordan, this is Nate, and this is Jaren. we got a good episode Peace for you out. guys today because we are talking about what is currently going on and that are clients not getting us their documents, prolonging the tax filing experience. Mm-hmm. So we're talking about extensions today. Extensions. Tax filing extensions. So stick around to the end of this video because we're going to drop a gem for you. We're going to tell you how you can avoid penalties, fines, and how to get an extended six months to file both your business and personal tax returns. Mm -hmm. So Jaron, do you want to get in and let people know kind of what is an extension and how to go about it? So what a tax extension is, uh, is it gives you a little extra time to file your taxes. And we'll go more into the specific deadlines later. But you'll have to file form 4868 and 7004. That's for individuals and businesses respectively. Mm -hmm. And it gives you a little extra time to file. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, why on earth would someone want to file it? And if you haven't done that, well, we love you, to be honest. (laughs) But uh, a lot of times people have to because they're waiting on a K-1, which is income from a partnership or another business that they own shares in. And so sometimes those K-1s aren't quite ready just due to the complexity of the accounting Mm -hmm. until May, June, or even later. And so it can be super helpful to have that extension to have a little extra time to file their own bookkeeping, you know, they're doing their own bookkeeping and Mm -hmm. it takes them extra time. They're not going to have it done by the March 15th deadline. Mm -hmm. Um, So a a ton of different variety of reasons, Um, but it, but it is making sure that the accuracy is dialed in. So when you are filing that tax return, it's the best possible tax return and you're not having to amend things later. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it a little cleaner. Yep. Yeah, the the important thing to remember is a lot of times, like Jaron was saying, income can be complex. So you could have income coming from your business. You could have it coming just from your W-2, but maybe you don't have all your deductions together. Maybe your medical bills, some of the other podcasts we've done talking about our state allows you to write off medical expenses. Maybe you don't have all that together. Mm -hmm. So whether you're selling merchandise or sponsorships, you have a business, your W-2, whatever the reason is, the IRS allows us to do this extension. And essentially what you want to do is, is, and Jordan will talk about how to how we can help you with this. Mm-hmm. But you, what you want to do is get as much of your information together as you can, mm-hmm. put the income down, put the expenses out, and get us guesstimates. Yep. Right. We call them guesstimates because you do want to send some money in. You're not going to file, but you do want to send some money in. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and it's important to remember that the extension is only for uh, how late you can file your tax return, which is very different than when you need to make sure your payments are in. And not to go into too much detail, but especially estimated payments are actually due in the quarter that the IRS expected the income to be earned. So uh, make sure that you're making your payments by the original deadline, uh, and then make sure the filing is done by the uh, extended filing deadline. So just make sure that you separate those two things, when you file and when you pay. Because that can be super important. So more detailed timelines, your business tax return, you're filing a C Corp, S Corp, partnership tax return, those tax returns are due by March 15th. You can file an extension. It gives you that six month grace period. So those business tax returns are now due by September 15th. Same way with the personal tax return. Personal tax returns are due by April 15th. If you need the extra six months, you get until October 15th to file those. But like Jaron said, that tax payment is still due on April 15th. And you know, to piggyback on what Nate said, the reason why we want guesstimates is because we want to tell you what you should be paying at that April 15th deadline date. Even if you do extend, the reason being is because the IRS, they're (laughs) and they increased the interest penalty to over 8% when it used to be 3%. That's more than it's my like student loans. It's like there's a crazy money scam swindle thing going like on they've out there. Like they printed trillions of dollars and trying no. to figure out a way to get that money it's back. It's all reasonable. Very reasonable. The yeah. reason is they're part of the plan. That's <laughs> what it is. So what we would like to do to help you is there's going to be a link in the description. Um, as a client of ours, that is a courtesy that we provide is we automatically file that extension for you so you don't have to be stressed out about filing by a certain date or you know kind of half-assing your expenses Um, so we want to do that so you can you know take your time make sure you're getting us all the information and we can file the best possible tax return for you 
Yep. Mm -hmm. And those those penalties are expensive on businesses. Extremely I mean, they're expensive. 75 per month, so it's $2,500 usually the lowest that we see for a business penalty. $2,500 penalty, and that's most of the time for an S Corp. If you're a partnership, I know a lot of my real estate clients that, you know, they have 10, 15 partners in this fund. $2,500 per partner is Ooh. what the fines are. So they are extremely heavy, and especially with that 8% tacked onto it, um, it really can be crippling. So the only way to you know, get around having to pay that is make sure that that extension gets funded. And, we'll, and we'll do that for you. It's mm -hmm. it's pretty easy. We need some yeah. information, but we can send that in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So use the link in the description so we can help you out and and reduce your stress a little bit this tax season. And uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and tune into next week's video. Perfect. Finance X Media. Finance X Media.